What's going on there, guys? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here on this uh, Wednesday evening. January 19th is the date. About uh, 2022, of course. About uh, Looks like about 6.34 p.m. California time. The latest quake, a 4.6 earthquake out here around the Middle East. You can see that on the Earthquake 3D globe. Let's go ahead and check out some other activity out here on the USGS map see some movement kicking up here along the west coast of the north american continent also still seeing a little bit of swarming activity down here along the northern end of the uh, south american plate or south america region and also the dominican republic and puerto rico area all seeing a little bit of heightened earthquake activity over the last 24 or 36 hours or so including that 4.8 down in the venezuela area so looking at the uh, trail of movement up here around the puerto rico trench region uh, and a general sign of some uh, increasing movement here in this region of the world. Up here in the North American uh, Plate area, a little bit of activity around the Tennessee region. Looks like a 2.3 kicking up here around the uh, McMinnville, Tennessee area. And also 1.6 in the South Carolina region as well. New Madrid zone looks pretty quiet up here around the Intermountain West regions northward into Yellowstone seeing some activity ramp up uh, Yellowstone activity has been kicking up here over the last oh couple days or so this is the overview of the Yellowstone thumbnails it's a pretty cool site to check out when it comes to looking at and observing the uh, seismograph stations across the park here you can see a pretty good uh, amount of activity kicking up in the northwest corner maple creek holmes hill purple mountain area all showing uh, signs of a uh, little bit of activity kicking up here every single one of these spikes here on the seismograph indicating uh, earthquake activity of course the darker the line far as the thickness goes the larger the earthquake nothing significant uh, according to the usgs here just a couple ones looks like a uh, 2.9 the largest that was being recorded there around the Yellowstone area. Uh, backing off here a little bit through the uh, Utah area, right around Cedar, Utah. Still seeing some movement. And also continued activity here northwest of Las Vegas. This activity has been kind of, uh, kind of just been ongoing here for the past couple days. Looks like about uh, 38 earthquakes or so within this region. Most of it uh, microquakes, but uh, still kind of kicking off out here around the Rock Valley Fault Zone. Not uh, for sure what's going on out there in that region of the state. Of course, any fault systems can see seismic increase uh, at any given time. That's kind of what we're looking at here in the region northwest of the Indian Springs area. Uh, so far, at least today, 12 earthquakes within the vicinity northwest of Las Vegas. Uh, regions up here in the northern part uh, of the Nevada area looks pretty quiet not a whole lot of movement some movement a little, little bit of activity around Reno and areas west on the California side stretching down through Lake Tahoe and into the Long Valley Super Volcano which sits around here but uh, overall nothing significant there to report we have seen a little bit of activity taking place here outside of the Ridgecrest Fracture Zone to the east see a couple earthquakes here in the uh, looks like the uh, little valley here it's a pretty shallow earthquake taking place here within this zone uh, a couple microquakes actually uh, garlock fault structure as well seen some movement including a 1.2 right smack dab on the garlock fault shear zone here and also some uh, query blast being reported around the Mo uh, mojave and area south there uh, san Andreas fault zone looks pretty quiet tonight down around the San Jacinto fault zone though looking pretty uh, active again up and down the entire length of that uh, fault looks like a um, little bit of movement around the Hemet area and also uh, let's see what else we got here Palomar Observatory has been relatively quiet around the Palomar Mountain of course we remember that sw uh, swarm of activity that was kicking up here over the past month or so nothing to report there uh, currently as far as earthquake activity goes Salt and Sea area southward, pretty quiet. No further movement into the Gulf of California. Areas up north here in the Pacific Northwest, not a whole lot to report. Go ahead and check out the trimmer map here 
along the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, shows about 128 epicenters uh, into the northern California region. This is the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, so that on top of the 168 trimmers we seen last night kind of adding up to the uh, trimmer count here along the uh, Cascadia. We have not seen any further movement or back building of pressure, at least uh, as far as the uh, earthquake activity goes. I'm sure it's building up pressure, no doubt, but uh, not seeing a whole lot of uh, earthquakes being reported here on the USGS map. Although, once again, I've been watching it, and it's still been uh, kicking there around the Petrolia area in Northern California. Uh, just some microquakes being recorded on the live seismograph stations there on the stream. Nothing being reported by the USGS. Into the Alaska region, a little bit of activity around the Gulf there, looks like, uh, and also areas along the Aleutian Trench with a 4.2 at 14.5 uh, kilometers. Looking at the uh, Japan region, wow, that looks awfully, awfully quiet. Doesn't look like uh, too much activity kicking up there at all within this region of the 24-hour uh, map here. Not a whole lot. Look at that, pretty quiet there once again. Uh, Indonesia Indonesia area looking uh, pretty active though quite a few fours and uh, even a 5.3 kicking up here in this region Tonga area of course we're all kind of watching the uh, Hunga Tonga volcano did see some further movement within this region uh, 4.9 at 10 kilometers pretty shallow earthquake and also that uh, deep earthquake here uh, earlier today 4.5 at uh, 534 kilometers so Kind of keep an eye on it, folks. No major change in the Hunga Tonga volcano activity, but uh, that could always change in a blink of an eye, let me tell you. Mona, what do we got here? Mona Loa showing some signs of activity up here. A couple microquakes. And the southeast flank looking pretty active today with a uh, little earthquake out here around the Loihi Seamount. Uh, where does it go? It's not even listed here on the map. Right here. Just to the north, we've seen a little... Uh, 2.1 at 33.3 kilometers look at that number folks if you know uh if you've been watching this channel you know that's a pretty significant number for me 333 and that uh, just kind of kicked up there pretty crazy what it means i don't know but it's been happening a lot here uh in my life when it comes to times and receipts and whatnot uh, what else we got here? Uh, South Pacific looking pretty quiet. South America region, uh, northern part, as I mentioned, is pretty active. Down here along the Peru Chile Trench, not a whole lot. Uh, 130 kilometer deep, 4.2 around the Chile region. Um, nah, man, not a, not a whole lot in the Middle East, except for that most recent quake, the 4.6 in the Iran area. They also had a prior 4.6 uh, earlier last night or late last night in the same region there uh, let's go ahead and check out uh earthquakes canada here while we're at it along the uh, region here a little bit of movement looks like renewed activity up here on the northern of course this is the uh, gulf of, Cal or of uh, alaska region seeing that activity up here a little earthquake up here on the northern end of the plate boundary cascadia subduction zone showing a 3.1 also way up here northwest territories showing a uh, 3.5 as well areas to the east looking pretty quiet most recent quake up here looks to be around the uh, uh, Haynes Junction area 1.7 low microquake up there around that region uh, trimmer map we checked out let's go ahead and check out the solar weather while we're at it a little bit more quieter tonight although we're seeing a little bit of an uh, increase in solar flares it looks like up around the sea level uh not sea level but the c class flare you can see that kind of ramping up there within that threshold uh still calling for it looks like a little bit of uh, storming over the next night uh, at least tonight uh, calming down over the next few nights there pretty uh diminishing activity on the aurora globe the layer absorption map showing a little bit of activity around the Australia, New Zealand area, Tonga area. And uh, other than that, uh, man, solar flare threats kind of diminishing. Not a whole lot of activity kicking up here when it comes to the potential of solar flares. 
Uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. Anything else we need to cover? Nothing going on on the uh, buoys. Double check those just to make sure. Nothing going on. Nothing in event mode. And of course, no tsunami warning, watch or advisory. Anything being recorded at all. But, uh, you know, just hang in there. I think still, uh, we still got a little bit of show, uh, a little bit of uh, activity ramping up here at the Tonga, Hunga Tonga Volcano. I think that's in the forecast here pretty soon. Uh, if you didn't watch my video about the Hunga Tonga uh, future eruption possibilities, um, I do have it up on the channel. There was some uh, concern about, uh, of course, the thousand year sequence of uh, occurrences here with the major caldera eruption, kind of like we've seen here a few nights ago that the Hunga Tonga volcano, uh, there's been like uh, review, well, not reviews, but uh, past studies that uh, these eruptions come in series. So we've kind of seen the first series there, if you, if you will, uh, a few nights ago there with that uh, eruption but you know i kind of think that we're looking at the potential of some more activity kicking up here at the hunga tonga volcano uh, when it comes to um, the ongoing activity there so we will just uh, see how it plays out uh, what else do we have to cover i think that's about it folks i uh, hope everyone's having a good evening out there Spent the day out here with the kids in the uh, little bounce house, barbecuing up some uh, steak right now. It should be just about done, so we're going to get that off the grill and uh, have a little bit of uh, some good dinner. Uh, some further decals got sent out today, international ones. Quite a few out to the Alberta uh, region, Alberta. And also uh, a couple over to the India region as well. So look for a manila envelope. With the uh, with the decals in it, and a bunch more going out tomorrow. I just got to put a bunch of stamps on them uh, for those in the states here. Probably a good 75 or 100 more envelopes going out to the uh, decal for the uh, request of the decals to those that put in them. So look for those pretty uh, pretty soon, folks. I'll be there in a few days. All right, I'm gonna jump off here. Enjoy the evening. Hope everyone stays safe out there. We'll chat you guys another time. Peace out.